Guys, welcome to another episode. We are out in the remote reaches of my state. Winter has arrived, or did we just go to where winter is? And man, is it a beauty out here. Look at that, not a cloud in the sky. So the original idea was to come here and camp down there. There's a campground and we were gonna fish and do a catch and cook, but um, it's all snowed in. However, there are still fish surfacing down there. So I think, oh my goodness. Oh, there's like a trout or something feeding at the surface. I've already got a couple of fishing rigs completely set up uh, in the back. I've got just a little bit of supplies with me, some cooking gear and uh, some food. We got a couple of poles here with us. One's already pre-tied with the bullet lure, ready to roll. And if there's trout, if those are trout surfacing, we might get really lucky and get one of those. So uh, we got the cooking gear. We got all kinds of stuff. Sorry, my head's all over the place. There's no plan to this episode. I'm out here for a very specific reason, something very exciting that has to do with this remote area. Ooh, man, I'll tell you guys in a future episode though, it's gonna be an absolutely epic announcement, but I'm just surprised how cold and wintry it is up here. Winter's coming, boys and girls. Winter's coming, but that's not gonna stop us. The catch and cooks will continue. I think I'm gonna grab some gloves. Don't judge me. I'm not from these cold areas. Where are the gloves? We brought the backpack out. Uh, not sure if we're gonna pack anywhere, but... Ooh, there they are. Oh, oh man, that already feels better. That feels amazing, man. Ooh, yeah, nice. Ooh, yeah, why don't I wear these more often? Oh goodness, looks like some other brave soul might have been here. Oh, oh, oh. oh, there go the glasses and everything. Jeez, that was a lot deeper than I thought it was gonna be. All right, guys, it's a disaster already like it usually is. What, where are we gonna go? I've been seeing, oh, man, there's a lot of trout surfacing kind of right here in front of us. So maybe let's just kind of keep going here. <laughs> Man, it is cold, guys. Oh, uh, all right. Get out of there, snow. Come on. Okay, it seems like there's a good shot. Oh man, look at that view. Guys, I, oh wow. Speechless there. I don't even know what to say. Oh. <laughs> Looks like there's some kind of a rock or something we could maybe stand on. All right, we gotta make a bit of an area here. Clear the snow, get us a little fishing pad. <laughs> First cast is gonna happen with the bullet lure. I think uh, when it gets cold like this, the trout are a little, they're a little more shy. They're not as crazy and active. <laughs> we got some worms with us here. What we're gonna do is rig up the bobber rod as well. That way we can uh, fish this guy while we're casting the lure. Kind of just double our chances, right? Sometimes trout, uh, when it's cold like this, they get a little more sedentary. They might not chase lures as much. Um, so we'll try some worms. Oh, 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 all right, man down. <laughs> Jeez, really gotta watch out, guys, when you got all the snow, fresh snow, you don't know what's underneath. Now, one thing is we gotta make sure that we don't let our worms freeze. They don't like that very much. We got just an itty bitty little hook here. And I think what we'll do is just put a worm on, slip them all the way up the hook to hide that hook. These are gonna be very, very finicky biters, these trout. And when we're done, we'll have the worm just kind of hanging on the hook like that. All right, we're just gonna go ahead and cast this guy out how about right there. Right there, let that baby sink down. Look at that bobber, he's just sitting out there so happy. 
Just kind of stick it right in the snow like that. And while that bobber is chilling, we're gonna, oh, you know, no, we're gonna put the lid back onto the worms here just to kind of try and keep them as warm as possible. We can't forget about them. I'm actually gonna go ahead and put the lid on and put them in my pocket so that they don't freeze because they're gonna get really cold. Gotta take care of our little worms. All right. Man, my line is all freezing up. It's kind of hard to get a good long cast out of it. just walk the shore here a little bit see if we can get a little further out because I was seeing those trout surfacing kind of more at the corner here dude look at that view though man I can't get over that it's just so beautiful oh man I can hear the ice <laughs> like going through my guides dang You hear the ice on the reel? Oh, oh it's stuck in the grass. Dang, it's so frozen. <laughs> oh man, look at that. The last little eye of the rod is completely frozen. Oh, they're all filled with ice. No wonder I can't cast anywhere. Here's how deep it is. Maybe we'll just let it sink down. Maybe like the trout are sitting down deep or something. Oh wow, it is deep here. Still sinking, still sinking, still sinking, still sink. Wow, it's deep. Dude, I didn't expect that. I thought it was like super shallow here. All right, there we go. We're on the bottom. Maybe we can like jig something up from the bottom. Nothing, huh? Let's go ahead and check the bobber rod. Curious if anything's happening over there. Let's just make sure that everything's looking right out there. I'm surprised nothing's touched this one at all. Here, what happens if we bring the bobber right over to the ice line right here? Maybe there's something hiding under the ice. Just waiting for the bite right now. Uh, the surface action stopped for some reason, man. W when we were here, like I was shooting the intro, there are trout surfacing everywhere and then it just stopped. It's crazy. Maybe it's because the sun is uh, starting to set. It's getting a lot colder. That could, who knows, man, it's fishing. The casting is really tough right now because my line keeps freezing up. I'm using braid and it holds a lot of water in the line. So it kind of, yeah, it's a fun challenge. Been a while since we've done any winter fishing. But uh, man, I love this though. <laughs> this is fun. Okay. Oh, everything's frozen. <laughs> I was able to cast like 20 feet. <laughs> oh, the line's so frozen, it's impossible to cast. We're just gonna try the slowest retrieve possible. These are very cold, sleepy trout. Oh no, oh, we're stuck on the ice, right on the edge, no. Oh no, come on, <laughs> got it. Oh, one just surfaced back there. Maybe they're coming back to the surface now. Goodness, there is a fish right there, fish right there. What was that? What was that? I wonder if he's still there. Come on, baby. Come on, come on. Wow, it was a plant. That was just a plant. Whew, man, my fingers are getting so cold. It is absolutely freezing cold here, guys. That sun is going down. She's setting, as you can see, the last bit of light. And with that, the temperatures have dropped. Man, what is that? What if it's just like a turtle? <laughs> There's like a turtle down here or something. That <laughs> uh, actually could be. I don't, I don't know. Do, guys, do turtles like live in freezing places like this? And he's just like, maybe it's just a turtle coming up for air. And I keep thinking it's a fish feeding. 
Oh, that could totally be. I haven't been seeing anything else surface out there, so this is kind of our last ditch effort to maybe find out if it's a turtle or a fish or a frog or whatever is like swimming at the surface there. I haven't seen it. I'm just seeing the swirls. Come on, baby. Come on. It's our last try. Way too cold for the worms out here. They can come in here with me. <laughs> there we go. It is freezing cold, man. The sun went down and it is, everything is just frozen. Tomorrow we're gonna keep exploring and find another lake or river or whatever where we can maybe catch some fish. I'd love to catch a trout and cook them up together. So um, let's keep trying. Just want to be 100% honest with you and not like pretend like we slept out somewhere when we didn't. Um, so we're gonna sleep in a hotel room tonight. Motel, motel room, it ain't that fancy. <laughs> uh, we'll still continue tomorrow, man. We're still gonna continue uh, looking for some fishing spots, doing some more reconnaissance out here together. But for tonight, I just need a place to stay where I can think about what happened today. Don't worry very good things probably one of the biggest things ever in my life and I really want to share it with you guys but I just don't want to share it before it actually happens there's still a lot of things that can happen either way I'm talking too much let's get in there um, there's a place next door like a weird pub that has like some food or something like that too so maybe we'll grab a little bit of food <laughs> we've never done this on the channel have we ever just stayed at stayed a hotel room we've slept in the mountains and tents, in the van. Van's coming back very soon. We slept in the truck together, but never at a motel. Oh, my keys. Here we go. That was weird, not gonna lie. What the? I thought there was like a little place to grab some food. Oh, I think that's like the back of the building where we get murdered. We're not, we're not going there. Okay, never mind. Well, I appreciate you lodging me for the night. I'll yeah, catch you in the morning then, and uh, yeah, pleasure meeting you. Yeah. Have a good night. I can get on board with this. <laughs> there we go, there we go. You know what? It ain't the Hilton, but that's okay. I wouldn't want it to be. I had to sneeze right there, but it went away. That's terrible. That was horrible. I hate that feeling. Oh. I'm so exhausted. It's been a long day. We are settled in for the night. Now we're gonna figure out some food. Let's see what we got. I brought out some crackers. And then I've got, uh, check this out right here, man. Mm-mm-mm, Brathering's -mm -mm. Ohne Rückengräte und ohne Schwanz. Basically, they're like herring without bones and without a tail. 
And they're also expired. I think those expired in like 2018. Oh, there we, wow, the thing broke off, but we were just able to save that. Now we don't want to cut ourselves. It doesn't look weird or anything. Let's try a little bit. I didn't bring a fork or anything out. <laughs> We're just going to eat with our fingers here. It's all good. Not worry about it. Yeah, that's good stuff, man. That's good. So this was always one of my favorite things, like when I lived in Germany. So crazy that like seven years ago, this herring here was swimming around in the ocean and got caught. Cheers, guys. <laughs> what a weird day. Mm. Mm. Check it out. This year's almost like a sign. A fisherman in a boat with, it looks like a, a bamboo rod and an old school net catching what looks like a giant trout. That's a sign right there, guys. We're gonna catch a big trout tomorrow, but uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and keep eating uh, <laughs> six, seven year old herring and chips. <laughs> and I'm gonna get some sleep and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the morning and then it's time to catch a trout. I'm exhausted if you can't tell. All right, good night. Oh man, look at that. Dang it, my water, it's solid. <laughs> Frozen solid. Uh, oh, that's weird. Why did this one bottle... What? Every single bottle is frozen in here, except for this one. Why did this one bottle not freeze? Let me know in the comments. <laughs> Maybe I don't want to drink this bottle. What's in there? <laughs> okay, here's the plan. We're gonna head to a brand new lake. See if we can maybe catch something there, just explore a little bit. And uh, if that doesn't turn out, then maybe we'll head back to that lake that we were at yesterday where for sure we know there's fish there, we just gotta figure out how to catch them. But uh, I'm in exploring mode, so <laughs> let's go. All right, check out a new spot. Oh yeah. Lime sparkling water. Off we go. Man, I had to pull over real quick. There's, oh my goodness, there's so many deer down here right now. Wow. They're all chilling down by this frozen lake. <laughs> Looks like it's a bunch of uh, a bunch of mule deer. <laughs> Adorable. They're just living the best life down there. All right, little guys. Have a good rest of your day. We're getting pretty close to uh, the first lake that we're gonna fish here today. It's just way out here in this valley. Oh my God, oh, there's so many quail running around all over the place. Why are there just quail everywhere? Oh my goodness, they're right there on the road, just running around. What is that in the road? Oh, it's more quail. <laughs> go little quail, go, 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 go. <laughs> Look at all these little quail doing everywhere, man. Look at that. Wow, the lake is like actually freezing over. Look at this lake right here. Now we're talking. <laughs> all right, we're, uh, we're here. There's no way that we're gonna make it down in there, so we're just gonna park up here on the road. All right. Man, it's beautiful out here. Okay, it's really cold out here. So we're gonna put on our little, I don't know, what are these hats called? I have no idea what the name is. Look at this place. Oh, it's magical. Oh, so many more tracks here. What was this? Something ran around here?
It's like actually just a little bit of beach down here. Looks like an old boat ramp or something. See if we can just reel in a monster right away. Well, I don't think that's gonna happen, but <laughs> all right, let's just see what happens here. Come on, baby. All right, all right, nothing on the first cast. We can go with that. That's all right. They don't have to bite right away. They're just keeping it suspenseful. Man, the water is so clear. So clear. I can see that lure underwater way out there. No, it's freezing out right now too. Everything's, the line's freezing again. Not as bad as yesterday. Oh, dude. oh, what just happened there? Something felt weird. Almost like it was a bite, but I didn't see anything. Hey, the lure just twitched a little. This is so beautiful. It's so like mountain lion territory though too. Like if there's a mountain lion up there somewhere, they're watching us right now. All right, let's walk the shore a little bit. Just wanted to go over here to these cattails and make a couple casts there. Oh my God, look at that. There's like a little beaver right there. Oh, he just dove down. He just dove down. I don't know if you guys saw that. It's right there in front of us. It was like a muskrat. I think it was a beaver. <laughs> Let's see if he comes right back up here again. Oh, look at this. The line has like ice all over it. I think the muskrat or the beaver's over there. Oh no, it's a bunch of ducks. Ah. Hey, ducks. Oh my goodness. Oh, there he is. Look at it. I think it is a little muskrat. Ugh, that was a horrible cast. Wow, the line's just so frozen up. That was far out there. We're gonna let that one sink just a little bit. Maybe not all the way to the bottom, but let's sink for a couple of seconds. Come on, man. There's gotta be, gotta be some fish in here. Wow, there's so many like feathers here. Look at that. What do you guys think that feather is? Let me know in the comments. Is that a duck feather a qu or a quail feather? There's like feathers here everywhere. So maybe someone didn't have a very good day. All right, we're switching it up. We're gonna hit up a different lake. I'm not seeing any fish uh, surfacing here. Man, it sure is beautiful out here though. Just gonna soak it in one last time. I was just gonna see what else is down this road here. I think there's one more lake back here that we should check out. Oh man, the lake I wanted to fish over here is frozen, guys. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. snow right here can't even get out of the car <laughs> oh dude look at this it's all frozen but i don't think it's frozen enough to actually stand on it uh -huh. oh it's cracking oh listen to that You can see little cracks going out. So we ain't going out on this ice here. Uh, that still needs a few weeks to maybe, I know it's gonna need a while to freeze up and make it safe. But dude, we should come back here and go ice fishing. All of these lakes are gonna freeze up. Ooh, that cracked more over here. Man, goodbye.
my beautiful lake. We'll be back when ice fishing season starts. That's gonna be soon. Oh, that should be fun. I, honestly, I'm super stoked to go ice fishing. I've, I've only done it once. And uh, a lot of you guys in the comments have said uh, to do some more ice fishing. So I listened to you guys. We're gonna do some ice fishing. And I'm just, I wanna do it too, so. Okay, but we're headed off to go to the next lake. All right, we're back at uh, lake number one from yesterday because we've seen trout and there's one technique that we have not tried uh, yet to fish for them. And it's not frozen. That's that's a plus is that the lake isn't like covered in a sketchy layer of ice. <laughs> I'm also getting hungry, man, and some coffee sounds really nice. got high hopes that uh, it's gonna happen here. All right, we're taking the bobber rig off and uh, we're gonna tie up something completely new. We're just gonna tie up a bottom rig on this guy here. We don't do this very often, but man, if times are desperate, then, uh, oh well, power bait to the rescue. <laughs> and then what we're gonna do is just grab a little uh, like tail end of a worm and just kind of tip the hook with that. So we have our power bait on the line. Now we're sliding it onto the hook where we've got this little itty bitty worm hanging there. If we fish both of those together, whew, man, the trout won't be able to resist that. Here we go. Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, the trout pill. <laughs> The spool is completely frozen up. You gotta like unspool some line. All right, still sinking. We're gonna let that baby sink all the way down to the bottom. All right, now we're just gonna put a little bell right on the tip of that pole. That way when one bites, we'll hear it. There we go. All right, we're fishing, baby. We're gonna make some coffee. We need like a flat surface here to, to cook on. All right, usually we get some water from the lake, but uh, well, I guess we got plenty of snow right here, right? We're gonna need a lot of snow to make enough water. All right, so what we're gonna do is start it off on a really low heat, uh, just cause we don't wanna burn the bottom of the pan. Even though there's snow in there, that can still happen. So we just gotta get a little bit of it to melt in the bottom. And once we got some uh, water melt in there, then the snow, then it'll melt really easily. So we just gotta take it easy. While that baby waits there, we can just make a couple of casts with the bullet lure, right? Check on our uh, coffee here. Oh yeah, look at that. Wow, look at all that snow just turns into a, a little tiny bit of water. Do it. Oh, oh, did you just see that? There was one that surfaced right there next to us. Right there. That was a trout. That was definitely a trout. Oh man, now I'm wishing we had the bobber rig on. <laughs> Dang. Come on, baby. That was a good sized trout too. Really slow, maybe you'll take that. Dang. Oh, that was so close. 
Oh, oh, we're getting a bite. We're getting a bite. We definitely just got a bite. I saw the line uh, kind of loosen up. Or did I just step on the pole? Nope, we're getting a bite. We're getting a bite. Come on, baby. Come on, go for it. Oh, he's chewing on it. Whew, come on, come on, come on, come on. How's the coffee water doing? Oh yeah, coffee water's doing good. All right, back to the fish. Oh, come on back, baby. Oh, he's back. We could set the hook, I just... Ah, it's risky, very risky, guys. What do you think? Oh, definitely something just pulled on it. Is that a fish? Oh, what if it's a turtle? What if it's like a turtle again? Dang it. Let me put that bell back on there. I'm not sure if... Uh... Oh, no. There's something there. There we go. That's a fish on, baby. Oh, yeah. There we... Oh, my goodness. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Not a giant. Not a giant. Well, I, I don't know. I, oh, no. Respectable. <laughs> yes. Let's go. Finally. Oh, he's stuck on something. No, 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 no. Oh, no, it might just be a big fish, guys. I'm not sure what this is. Oh, it's a trout. It's a trout. He's stuck in the weeds. There he goes. <laughs> we got him. We got one, guys. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. Yes, right as we're cooking coffee. All right. Guys, we finally pulled it off. We got one. Look at that. He's a beautiful... A little rainbow trout, he couldn't resist that trout pill. We just made sure to put this little guy to sleep right away, that way he uh, doesn't need to suffer at all. He's gonna make a wonderful little meal for us. Ah, oh, what a beautiful, beautiful fish. Gorgeous rainbow. Thank you, buddy, for biting. <laughs> Man, we got coffee coming too, trout and coffee. Now we're talking. Right, we're just gonna go ahead and send another rig right back out there, see if we can get another one. Ooh, yes, we're like in the middle of the lake. No, I forgot the coffee up at the truck. Okay, it's right there. You keep an eye on the pole. I'll be back in one second. Any bites while I was gone? <laughs> I brought us some coffee though. No! No! Oh, I could have thought of that. The <laughs> Oh, that was smart. The uh, coffee thing, whatever this is called, melted the snow and then tipped over. Ah, dang it. Oh. Oh, that's a fish. <laughs> that's just stomping snow off of my... Uh, shoes and all of a sudden I thought that was me doing that oh man I just don't know if he took the bait and we should check it they're super super finicky biters here I think it's just because it's so cold even that one that we caught he was like didn't really he was kind of fighting really slow it wasn't like a hard aggressive fight I think just that cold cold weather is just making those trout super super slow oh yeah <laughs> he took the bait Left us a piece of seaweed, but we don't want the seaweed, we want that fish. So we're gonna rebait it and send it back out. What was that? Was that a fish right there? What did I just miss? Dang, I'm gonna have to watch the video to see what just happened. I just turned around and... But it looks like there, there's water moving there too. Is that a big muskrat or something? 
<laughs> What's that? <laughs> Coffee, attempt number two. This time I stuck the coffee pot uh, deeper into the snow, so <laughs> in theory it shouldn't just tip over like that again. All right, cheers guys, there you go. A beautiful cup of coffee. hits the spot. I'm still really curious what that creature was that swam up against shore. Was it just a big trout gobbling around or? again there he is again it's a beaver <laughs> it's a beaver is what that is well mystery is solved i don't need to wait until editing to find out what <laughs> what that thing was wow he's a sneaky beaver he was kind of a cute beaver too We're gonna bite, aren't we? No, no, he didn't hook up. Oh, but you saw that he was there. He was there. <laughs> ah, man, what a bummer. That was definitely a fish again. Ah, there's just something about casting out your, your line, setting up the bell. Everything's quiet, nothing's going on. You're just kind of off doing something. All of a sudden you hear ding, ding, ding. It's like, whoa, whoa, we got a fish here. It's a very suspenseful way of fishing. Man, just look at how that lake is like a mirror. The reflections are just unreal right now. We got the cooker set up uh, right here, so we're gonna cook up this trout here. Oh man, and look at this dude, my coffee is like, <laughs> it's frozen. Iced coffee, anyone? I mean, people pay extra for this sometimes. Mm, refreshing. Very refreshing. <laughs> you guys are trout. He's pretty much frozen stiff right now. Really easy to clean one of these trout. Just one cut right up from the butthole up here. And then we're just going to take him right behind the head. Make one cut like that. And then just take the head. Rip the whole head with the guts. Throw it way down in the valley. There we go. <laughs> and that way, the coyotes or something, uh, maybe some birds can come in. They'll have a wonderful little snack with that. The only other thing left to do is just take the knife and score that dark line in the back. That's the fish's kidneys. Push that all out. Then we can take a little bit of snow to clean out the inside of that trout there. Snow is really good for cleaning things. All right, this guy here is beautifully cleaned up. Got some gorgeous meat on him. What was that? That was weird. Ooh, the gas came out like liquid. I think the gas is freezing or something. Or she's gonna have to cut that trout in half. He's a little too big for the pan. There we go. A little bit of olive oil. Now guys, I got a top secret seasoning with us. Danish sea salt. <laughs> All right, we're gonna sprinkle on just a little bit. Just a little. Oh yeah, man, look at that. It's white like the snow out here. Ooh, ain't gotta be shy at all. 
Uh, it's so cool just watching the reflection out there. I'm still seeing fish surface all over the place. What a beautiful lake. Oh yeah. Ooh, 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 look at the flame. <laughs> Oh, golden brown. That's beautiful. Oh, it's so perfect. Cover that up one more time. We got a beautiful avocado right here. Oh. oh my goodness, it's perfect. The meat is just coming right off of the bone. Beautiful. We're just gonna lay it meat side down in the pan one more time, just to give that side a nice little crisp. Oh man, look at that. Nothing but bones left. Cheers, trout tail. Could have been a little crispier, but that was good. Let me know in the comments, have you guys ever eaten the trout tail? And if so, what does the trout tail taste like? Let me know in the comments. And if you don't know what it tastes like, check out the comment section. <laughs> It'll surprise you. Mm. Oh man, that's good. That's a good trout. Wow, very flavorful. Mm. Oh wow, so good. Guys, it didn't need any other seasoning. A trout like that can have such good delicate flavors. And all you gotta do is add some good, a high quality salt. And it just lifts all those flavors out for you along with a high quality oil or some butter. All right, and we got a beautiful flour tortilla right here. So we're gonna crank this baby up. Ooh, and give it a little bit of roasting action. There we go, oh, oh. There we go, look, we got that. And it's like we're in an Italian kitchen doing a pizza. <laughs> look at that, absolutely perfect. Got a little bit of cheese here with us. Guys, we are making, you already know what we're making. We're making a trout taco, baby. Mm. We can kind of heat that up, let that cheese melt onto the tortilla just a little bit. All right, we're gonna grab one tail and one big piece. Wow, look at that. I wanna try just one little piece, just like that. Every trout tastes a little different. Oh, wow. A very buttery trout. Guys, is it getting really dark? Oh, no, no, it still looks all right, guys. Just once again, once again, the catch and cook ending in the dark. All right. We went heavy on the avocado here. That's a quarter of a fat, juicy avocado on this trout taco. All right, cheers. This one's to all of you guys. Thank you so much for coming on this adventure here with me. Let me know, of course, in the comments if you want to see more winter adventures. And subscribe if you're still brand new and don't want to miss them. We got to like actually go like camping out here. Like I said, this is more like a scouting trip. <laughs> Let's heat it up one more time over this beautiful red little flame we have going on here. Here we go. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my. Man, that trout is just delicious and buttery and juicy. It's a very, ju that's the word I was looking for earlier. It's, it's buttery, but it's a juicy trout. And then the avocado just kind of creams it all up and the cheese. Oh, come on. You know the cheese is good in there. Mmm. Ooh, hot. Mm. Oh, man, it feels so nice. Guys, sometimes when the fishing is just tough like that, you just gotta keep trying. Try new things, keep on going. It paid off for us in the end. Just tastes that much better. Mm. Mmm. Good. Yes. All right, we're in the truck. A lot warmer in here. Man, it's freezing out there. We're gonna do uh, some more property update episodes very soon. In the last video I saw a lot of you guys in the comments saying that you want to see more property updates. I've got some great ideas for you guys. Plus in the comments, you guys left some really good ideas too. So we're going to head out to the property again very soon. I'll probably be in this area again next 
uh, week so we can explore some more of these frozen lakes. Let me know if you want to see some ice fishing. Subscribe if you guys are still brand new. And guys, leave a comment below. You know I'll see you guys very soon here in the comment section uh, once I upload the video. I'll just be right there with you guys in the comment section answering questions if you got any. Uh, but that's really all I got for you. I love you. And uh, we'll see you all very soon for the next fishing adventure. And until then, you all know it. Fish on, baby.